Hello everybody, welcome to the Streetwise Opera Facebook Live. In this play sessions, we have been looking at music from East, music from the West, and looking how East meets West um, beautifully, uh, composing music, looking at music from, from afar, from, from here, looking how music can fuse together. It's been absolutely fascinating so far. We've especially looked at music from India, Northern Indian classical music, but today we've got a slightly different take on the theme. So later on in the session you'll be hearing from Jack and I will pass to him and you'll be doing all the movement stuff but today's session we're actually going to be focused on uh, Japan. Japan meets West okay so music um, that's been inspired by uh, Japanese music and music uh, a lot of the stuff that we're going to do today has actually been written in Japan and then has, has has taken a little bit of Western influence so it's a slightly different take on what we've been doing before as per usual we just we start with a lovely warm-up exercise so let's warm up I'm gonna do it sat here so you can see me all so you can see me all here we go and stretch your fingers stretch your fingers here here we go, stretch your fingers and relax. Stretch your fingers, stretch your fingers, stretch your fingers and relax. Stretch your fingers, stretch your fingers and relax. Play the piano. Contribution. Tapping your arm up to your shoulder and give yourself a nice little massage. Oh, you deserve it. Oh, Oh, you deserve it. Nice and gentle, nice and gentle. Oh, that hits the spot. Other arm. Up, top, 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 on your shoulder, on your shoulder. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that hits the spot. Oh, that hits the spot. And just gently lift your shoulders and relax. Gently lift your shoulders and relax. Tap your legs, tap your thighs, gently tap your chest, wiping your face, very good, up here please, up here, very good, very good, oh, let's give you a big yawn, expressions here we go smiley face sad face shocked face <gasps> angry face scared face confused face confident face hey 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 how you doing hey how you doing hey hey how you doing hey 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 let's go on to our breathing exercises breathing exercises so we're going to breathe in for four and out for four breathe in two three And in, two, three, four, and out. Quicker, eight. Breathe in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. As we've done before, yes? Any note you like, doesn't matter what the note is, if it fits, if it doesn't fit, there's no right or wrong, you're just gonna you're just, you're just gonna sing, yeah? In for eight, out for R, any note you like, any note you like, no right or wrong. You just go for it. Here we go, in for eight, out for R, really. Sing like you're free. Breathe in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five. 
everyone lovely so what we're going to do as i say the music for today is um, mainly music from japan not exclusively mainly music from japan so what we're going to do today is a song which i found by a band called smap i don't know if they pronounce it smap <laughs> but so I, th I think it's just called i just i think you just pronounce the 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 letters s m a p and the song is called the only flower in the world now it is sung it's a really popular song in japan uh and it's sung in japanese now i don't know about your your japanese expertise my japanese expertise are, is very small so i've just found a translation i thought we could sing the translation so let's have a look at those words <clears throat> and it goes the first bit goes Yes, we're each. Can we just say that? Yes, we're each. And then it goes, a flower unlike any other flower in the world. Can we do that? A flower unlike any other flower in the world. Yeah? And we'll do this with the... We might as well learn the chance, man. Yes, we're each. Just try that. Two, three, four. Yes, we Super cheesy, you'll love it. A flower unlike any other in the world. Can we have a go? Two, three, flower. A flower unlike any other in the world. And and, and you you're gonna go for super cheese, yeah? Any other in the world. Really, really go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next bit goes. And each and every one of us carries a seed. What a lovely sentiment. Here we go. Two, three, four. And each and every one of us carries a seed. Let's go from the top up to that bit. Yes, we're each. Yes, we're each. A flower unlike any other in the world. And each Carries a seed. Beautifully done, beautifully done. Next bit goes. We should all focus on. Oh, uh, we sorry. We should all focus all of our efforts. Yeah, we should all focus all of our efforts. Yeah, we should. One, two, three, four. We should all focus all of. Last line goes, trying to make each and every flower bloom. Have a go. Trying to make each and every flower bloom. Let's go back to, we should all focus all of our efforts. Two, three, four. We should all focus all of our efforts. Trying to make each and every flower bloom. Let's go from the top, we'll get it nice and slowly and then we're going to take it up a, a notch just so that we get to the real feel, yeah? Yes, we're each. Yes, we're each. A 
flower unlike any other in the world and each and every one of us carries a seed we should all focus all of our efforts trying to make each and every flower Now, I want us to imagine, because it's streetwise opera, and you all love, you all love, like, holding a flower in your hand. Yeah, pretending you've got a flower in your hand. Can you pretend you've got a flower in your hand? Yeah? So that, that line, a flower unlike any, unlike any other in the world. So you're going to hold this precious flower in your hand. A flower unlike any other in the world. And each and every one of us carries a seed. You hold it like that. We should all focus all of our efforts, hold the seed to your heart, trying to make each and every flower bloom. Yeah? A flower unlike any other in the world, and each and every one of us carries a seed. We should all focus all of our efforts, trying to make each and every flower bloom. Yeah? Nice and slowly with your actions and then we'll pick it up, yeah? No actions for yes, we're each. Yes, we're each a flower unlike any other in the world and each and every one of us carries a seed. We should all focus all of our efforts trying to Good. Get all your actions in. Shall we pick up the pace a bit? Here we go. So it is a pop song. And it's a bit faster. So get your groove on. Here we go. Yes, we each. Here we go. A flower unlike any other in the world. And each and every one of carries a seed we should all focus all of our efforts trying to make each and every flower bloom and again here we go last time here we go here we go last time here we go one two yes we each a flower unlike any other in the world and each and every one of us carries a seed we Focus all of our efforts Trying to make each and every flower bloom Make the flower bloom, make the flower bloom Make the flower bloom, make the flower bloom Make the flower bloom, make the flower bloom Make the flower bloom, last time Yes, well done, well done So that was the only flower in the world by SMAP. I'm going to call them SMAP. I don't think they're called SMAP, but they're called SMAP, a Japanese Japanese pop group. Okay, so you've learned you've learned your first Japanese song for today. Second Japanese song for today is by a composer called Hideki Chihara. Hideki Chihara is a contemporary composer. The, the, um, the piece that we're going to look at is called Orasho. Can you say Orasho? Orasho. And it is taken from, it's a larger choral piece. A larger choral piece. Uh, so it's, it's, quite a, it's quite a large piece sung in lots and lots of different parts. And we've just taken a little snippet. And the reason I've taken this little snippet is because this little snippet of the choral piece is inspired by... Gregorian chant. A Gregorian chant is Western Western monk music, basically. Very, very early church music. From church music, all of Western classical music, and so 
the other music that comes out of, of the West as well stems from this very, very, very early, early music. And that's, and essentially that's how our, our, our no notation, the way we write it down, comes from there. People sort of um, made all these little um, marks on a piece of paper and decided this is up and this is down and it evolved, 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 evolved. So it's very early, early, early Western music, Gregorian chant. In Japan, simultaneously, there are uh, also chants as, as well. Sim similar types of music, obviously done in a different language, obviously a slightly different style, but that idea of having long held notes and long lots of syllables held out for ages that you really explore is also something that happens in Japan. But this particular composer, Japanese composer, has looked at Western Gregorian chants for this segment of a larger choral piece. Let's go through the words. The words are in Japanese though, yeah? yeah? So can you say Kiriya? Can you say that? Kiriya, yeah? Then the next bit is Renzu. Renzu. Can we just go through the first bit again? Kiriya, have a go. Kiriya, and then you've got Renzu. Renzu. Now, I've done a little bit of research on this. Renzu, I under, as I understand it, Renzu is a name, and it's also the name of a, a ancient Chinese warrior. Uh, uh, Japanese stems from ancient um, Chinese. Obviously, there's lots of like a uh, crossover with all all um, global traditions. So the Japanese texts and Chinese texts all stem from the same origin. They're from an ancient Chinese. And obviously the, the uh, Japanese, no uh, the, the way Japanese people uh, write their, uh, their words is ever so slightly different. Um, but the sounds that they produce in response to them is massively different from what is produced in in China and that's where they that's where they diverge but actually if you look at quite a lot if a a, a, Ch a Chinese person looks at Japanese words and vice versa they can sense often the the meanings of all that sort of thing so they are they are sort of closely tied together because they're from the same origin so so Renzu is a name and it's an ancient uh, ancient Chinese warrior uh, Kiriya is also the name, but I think because these names all, all have extended meaning. So I think in this context, Kiriya actually means arrow. Yeah. So it's like kind of like you're talking about the arrow, the arrow of the Chinese, Chinese warrior. OK. So Kiriya goes like this. Kiriya. And it's super, super slow. So you're going to enjoy every symbol, uh, uh, syllable. Kiriya. Can you have a go? Two, three, four. Kiriya. Beautiful. Then you've got Renzu. Zoos for ages. Have a go. Renzu. Renzu. Should we put the two together? Kiriya Renzu. Beautiful. This is, this is why we do the breathing exercise. Because the chant really, really does use engage our diaphragm. You go, ha, 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 ha. He, 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 ho, ho, ho. He, 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 ho, ho, ho. Make sure, make sure your back is straight and you're really using your diaphragm because we're going to use some nice breathing to get to the end of that chant, yeah? Here we are, Renzo. Here we go, nice and slow. One, two, three. Here we are, Renzo. Beautiful. The next segment, very similar words. Kiri. Can you say that? Kiri. And then it's Zute, have a go, Zute, and then you've got again, Renzu, Renzu. So you've got Kiri, Kiri, Zute, Zute, 
Renzo. Renzo. So this goes. I will do Kirizute. Kirizute. Can we do that? Kirizute. Then you've got Renzo. So it goes up a bit higher. Renzo. This is really good for your diaphragm. Kirizu te renzu. One, two, three. Kirizu te renzu. Beautiful. Let's put those two bits together and then I'll add the accompaniment and then we'll, then we'll really play about with it because in this place is all, all about taking taking other traditions fusing them together with all sorts of other things and see what we can do and over over the course of the last few weeks we've been really playing about with music so I think we're going to play about with this chant okay so you've got Kiria Renzu Kirizute Renzu just with the piano and voice one two three Kiria Renzu Off Kirizu Te Renzu From the top again Kiria Renzu So as we've normally done with the chant, let's have a, a drone note. So that's the drone note. Funnily enough, this is actually written in the same the same sort of key as the um, rag that you created. Obviously, rag's from from India. Um, but it's quite useful for us because you're used to me doing this on my left hand. So we're going to have that in the left hand as we sing. Kiria. One, two, three. Kiria Renzo. Oh, 
the bottom. I'm going to play with the scale that they've given me, yes? So when I say you go for it, you can sing what you like. But the thing that, that's our chorus, our chorus that anchors us together, is the Gregorian chant from um, Orasho, yes, yes? So we, I'll go one, two, three, four, Kiria, Renzo, yeah, Kirizu, Te, Renzo. So we'll do it a few times, we'll do it a few times where we improvise. You can copy what I'm doing or you can sing whatever you like. Absolutely fine. This bottom note is going to move now and we are absolutely free. You can think circle. You can think line, you can think short, you can think long, you can think nothing at all, you can think badgers, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Or for this one, you can think arrows and warriors, ancient warriors, yes, yeah, yeah. We're going to start with the chorus together, then we're going to do some improvising, and we can go back to the chorus. So I reckon we'll do the chorus three times, beginning, middle and end, two moments of improvising. Here we go, let's get together, here we go. take on the Chinese warrior with his arrow. There you go. 
Let's move on. Very good. Very good, guys. Very good. Some some excellent Gregorian chanting mixed in with a bit of of, of ancient uh, ancient uh, uh, Japanese, straight Chinese, I should say. Um, let's move on. Let's move on to the last piece. So I thought we <laughs> I thought we'd play about a little bit. Just to, just to, you know, we're here for fun. We're here for fun and. Fun and learning. We've mixed the, we fuse the two. Sometimes learning is fun. We're going to learn, or, or learn some more um, contemporary um, uh, uh, Japanese, but this time we're mixing it with a bit of Beatles. Now, Toro Takamitsu is a uh, well was a he only passed away uh, very recently. Um, contemporary. Uh, Japanese composer, classical composer, it's very, very sort of interesting uses of sound, weird and wonderful stuff. Did a lot of stuff in the sort of 60s, 70s. And, uh, and in his later parts of the phase of his career, did a lot of electroacoustic stuff. We're going to look at a, a um, piece called, uh, it's basically called uh, uh, love, vo love Vocalism. The Japanese word for love is a. Yeah, and we're going to say "ai" quite a lot today. Yeah, "ai, ai, ai." So let's uh, let's let's just say "ai, ai, ai," and again, "ai, ai." In um, this vocalism, "ai" vo vocalism, "ai" is said in lots and lots of weird and wonderful ways. So we're just going to practice that. I should say this is an electroacoustic music piece, so it's not usually got a piano. It's not. It's not usually got a piano on it. Okay. Okay. So I'm. I'm making up the piano accompaniment. Okay. Um, there's a beautiful um, operatic um, line that goes very early on, which we're going to learn. So, it goes. Have a go again. Very good. So let's practice that beginning. So we're going to go. You're going to hear this drone on here. Keep going. Keep going. I might not be able to see it, but I can feel it. I can feel it. Sing love, you're singing love. Ready, here we are. Here's the operatic line. Ready? One, two, three, four. And whilst being a very, very, very renowned contemporary classical composer from Japan. He was also a massive Beatles fan. And he's a very good arrangement of um, Yesterday, which I didn't want to do because because his fam one of his famous pieces uses the word love, so I thought we'd do... Um, There's nothing you can do that can be done. All you need is love. Let's have a go, let's have a go. So, let's go, let's have a go. 
So you need to remember remember what we've just done. Ay, 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 Yes, that's our introduction, yeah? And then we're gonna go into first line. There's nothing you can do that can't be done. Have a go. There's nothing you can do that can't be done. There you go. There's nothing you can sing that can't be sung. Have a go. There's nothing you can sing that can't be sung. There you go. There's nothing you can say, but you can learn to play the game. It's easy. So, can we do, there's nothing you can say, but you can learn to play the game. One, two, three, four. There's nothing you can say, but you can learn to play the game. It's easy. Beautiful. Let's put all that together. There's nothing you can do. Forget the eyes for the moment. We'll come back to the eyes. That's going to be our intro and outro. You're going to love it. Okay, so from the first, there's nothing you can do that can't be done. One, two, three, four. There's nothing you can do that can't be done. There's nothing you can sing that can't be sung. There's nothing you can say, but you can learn to play the game. It's easy. Next bit goes. There's nothing you can make that can't be made. There's no one you can save that can't can't be saved. Let's put those two bits together. There's nothing you can make that can't be made. There's nothing you can save that can't be saved. Make sure, make sure you got, make sure you got your best take thing. That's why I think about there's lots of words going on at the same time. There's nothing you can make that can't be made. One, two, three, four. There's nothing you can make that can't be made. There's nothing you can save that can't be saved. Next bit goes. There's nothing you can do. Learn how to be in time. It's easy. Mm. Beautiful. So, it's nothing you can do, but you can learn how to be you in time. It's easy. One, two, three, four. Nothing you can do, but you can learn how to be you in time. It's easy. And then, I think you know the next bit. All you need is love. All you need is A. Mm. One, two. All you need is love All you need is love All you need is love Love, love is all you need Yeah, yeah, now, now I, now, uh, the Beatles singer All you need is love Yeah, um, I, I think uh, because we're street, what, streetwise opera, darling, streetwise opera, loving. We're going to really enjoy the love because because you've also been singing love in 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 Japanese. Aye, aye. Or you just aye. Um, I think you're going to extend the love. Yeah. All you need is love, and because also it just it just dawned on me. You've also been doing your chants, haven't you? So you've been you've been engaging the diaphragm, ladies and gentlemen. You've been engaging the diaphragm. So we're going to go. All you need is love. All you need is love. All you need is love. Love. Love is all you need. With the piano. Oh, all you need Let's get all the all you need is love bit together, sorted, and then when we get to when we get to the end, once once we had a rehearsal of that, we're gonna put the two things together. Yeah. So the Doro Takamitsu beginning, yes, with your uh and your Atmospheric. Then we're going to go into the, there's nothing you can do. But let's let's practice. We we'll practice the Beatles bit, and then we're going to put it all together. Yeah, it'll be A B A B B is the Beatles. A is the Takamitsu. Yeah, it's all about love. It's all about love. A. Here we go. Let's do the Beatles bit. There's nothing you can do that can't be done. Yeah. Here we go. There's nothing you can do that can't be done. 
sing the campus song. Nothing you can say, but you can learn to play the game. It's easy. Nothing you can make the camp be made. Nothing you can say the camp be saved. Nothing you can do, but you can learn to be you in time. It's easy. We've got it, we've got it, yeah? We'll repeat that chorus loads, yeah? But the important thing, right? We've got plenty of time, this is great, this is great. We need to put the tagamitsu into it, yeah? Toro, tagamitsu, yeah? So, that goes on, ai, 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 that's love in Japanese, yes? Remember your, uh, why not I bring you in, yeah? If you want to sing it down, oh, if you really know, oh, 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 oh. if you want to go up there, oh, 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 oh. I know, I know, I know you streetwise operas, so I know some of you are going to sing it up there. I love it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We keep that going. We keep that atmosphere going. We keep that atmosphere going. You will hear them. We're going to the. There's nothing you can do. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. We've got time. Beautiful. Let's make it beautiful, people. Remember, I love.
Well done. Love, love, love. I, I, I. Tony Tucker mixes uh, vocalism. Yep. Mixed in with the Beatles. All you need is, is love. So you've done a Japanese pop song. You've done a contemporary Japanese chant using Western monk chant, Gregorian chant. Yep. In ancient ancient Japanese and you have also done a little bit of contemporary Japanese music Toru Takumetsu's uh, I, I vocalism yep uh, mixed in with the Beatles all you need is love the link between those two is the word love and I well done everybody you've been absolutely fabulous and now I shall pass over to the very capable hands of Jack Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. Um, welcome to um, yeah the last part of your Friday session. Um, yeah, it's been great to look at everybody's solos that they've submitted, really good. Um, everybody's got such unique um, interpretations and I'm excited to see also uh, what else is gonna come through. We've also been working with the Kenny Larvin students and their solos and also some great contributions. So, we're getting through this project and we're literally almost halfway in now and um, everybody's come on so far. But for today, uh, because we've all submitted our solos and um, we're kind of on with the next phase of the project, which is um, recording the music, I wanted to give us um, uh, a session, which is something that we could take forwards after this project. A session which um, can deal with uh, evenings so that it can be used to wake us up or to relax us and some little movement tools and kind of movement things that we can work with so that's why i've got this music on today can you listen to it it's kind of like seaweed in the bottom of the ocean um so the first thing that i wanted for everybody to have a go today um was this idea of body coordinations and trying to challenge our brains and our bodies to get more in sync with each other as we do more complex and weird coordinations. Um, the best thing I could compare this to would be kind of, you know those Sudokus where you kind of have to figure out all those things or like a crossword. It's kind of like a game or some exercises that we can do with our bodies to wake us up in the morning if we're feeling tired or if we just do it every day we might have be able to get a bit more um, challenging of the the mind and the body connection. So the first thing that we're going to do, I think probably everyone's done this before, is we're going to just circle our chest like this, and we're going to tap our head. Good. That's a weird coordination. Good. And then we're going to switch, circle. Oh, my hair's going funny. And then switch. Good. Good. So that is just simply circling the chest like this. It's actually a really nice movement also to relax, kind of soften the chest area and tap in the head. My head's gonna miss. <laughs> so that's the first little body coordination uh, for you guys to work with and um, something that you can do if you're kind of thinking like, oh, I need to spark my energy or lift my energy. It's a good exercise to do. Another thing that um, is quite a little body coordination strangeness um, is this one. Grab your nose, grab your ear. That is, and then we have to switch. And we have to switch, and switch. Good, switch again, good, nice. Yeah, so we're just gonna do that. Now my nose has gone red. So these exercises make your hair go crazy and your nose go red, great. Um, yeah, so you use this one. I, you can also try this with closing your eyes. It's funny actually um, when people do this with their life, sometimes people, they do funny things like this and that's totally fine. So take your time and just really think, let's switch. Great, really good. So yeah, that's another little body coordination one that you can try. And again, these sessions are um, recorded so you can go back. Another one is this one. So we're gonna point with this finger and we're gonna thumbs up with this finger. Like this, yeah? And then we're gonna switch. So we're gonna go thumbs up with this finger, point with this finger. Good, nice, good. 
I know I've, I've actually been practicing this one, so I'm actually alright with this. But sometimes I do this, and then sometimes I'll, I'll 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 do things like that with the thumbs up. We want to try and keep our arms in the same line, touching each other. Oh, I've done that wrong. Tap tap tap, and slowly. That's a bit of a weird coordination. Really weird. Um, you can also try that one upside down. Thumbs up, pointing there. Oh my god, this is so confusing. Ah, uh, thumbs up, yeah, and then we switch it. Ah, uh, it's complicated. Uh, uh, gosh, I can't do that one. Um, yeah, you can also add that one upside down as well. So that's another little body coordination. Have a go in your own time. Fingers pointing. Oh, fingers point there. You can get faster. Oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, good body and brain scans. So that's really good. Um, the last one I wanted to do was this one, kind of related to a bit piano playing piano. So we have our hands up like this, and we want to press each finger down, going down almost like a Mexican wave. Good, like that. I'm not so good at this one, to be honest. But you can see sometimes my fingers are doing this. And eventually we can maybe roll the fingers a lot faster. Uh, this finger as well. So what's hard about these exercises is that in some ways you have to be really alert, but also at the same time you have to be really relaxed. Like you can't be too tense because then I can see on my things, my fingers. Uh, yeah, try these weird, oh, you see that, that thumb's getting stuck. So yeah, the piano one's a good one. Um, for you to try. <laughs> yeah, so they're kind of some kind of like um, movement exercises that you can do to wake yourselves up um, if you're kind of feeling like, you know, I know, I know recently with this lockdown, I've just been waking up and feeling like, oh, energy is like this and it can be hard to um, pick up your energy. And sometimes doing these games kind of also is quite fun. You can just try it and challenge each other, challenge your friends, um, yeah, or your family also as well to kind of. Um, do these whole sessions like this so great so that's one way we can use our bodies um, to kind of like be uh, I guess in some ways increase, increase our physical intelligence our kind of mental and our brains and bodies or mind and body connection because um, obviously in this project we've been looking at using our body as an expressive tool which is really like one way to use the body in a beautiful way but this way we can also use it in a way to kind of strengthen um, in a similar way we might strengthen our muscles if we keep working these kind of things out like this if we keep working out we're going to get bigger muscles we can also strengthen our mind body kind of connections and muscles by doing these coordinated um, things so that's a little challenge for you to do this week uh, one thing I wanted also to, to look at was kind of also kind of movements that are also kind of healing or um, not necessarily healing but uh, good for our relaxation good to de-stress good to kind of have a moment in the day kind of like um, almost like a moment to for yourself to kind of just ground yourself and kind of feel relaxed which I think is really important um, in life in general you know especially now uh, when we're kind of you know it's kind of crazy times and it can be quite nice to have some exercises that we do just to relax ourselves and to feel that uh, we have some toolkit we have some some tasks and games that we can play with in our toolkits that we can work with so <clears throat> the first thing I wanted to do which is actually can be quite nice some people hate it some people love it is we're just going to take our fingers really gently at the very end of our fingers and we're just going to simply just do this running down our face a few times very softly carefully rise just like this and just move around the face just very very gently and just feel and just kind of feel the slight this gentle touch on the skin and you can close your eyes as well it's really nice and you can just go a little bit onto the ears behind the neck you can just do this for a few minutes and it's such a nice movement to kind of Ground yourself and focus on the sensitivity of the body. So I'm just going to do that. I could do this all day. Really gentle movements, just like that. Like a really light massage. Really nice. I'm loving this. So you can just do this to yourself really gently. You could do it in the shower. You can do it just sat down. You can do it to somebody else um, in your household or ask, ask somebody to do it to you. Really just gently and 
a little bit of self-love, a little bit of using our movement and being comfortable with our bodies enough to kind of give ourselves some, some nice feelings. Um, yeah, and we can also take that a bit further um, if you're kind of getting a bit stressed in the neck, we can just take a little bit of massage in the, around the back of the neck area here. So just taking our fingers like this, we're just giving ourselves a little massage down the back, around, the, around this area here, really gently, just making sure that our bodies are nice and relaxed around this area. Good, that's a really good thing. Another thing to notice that I didn't know, um, but I learned in my dance training was, there's a huge connection between our jaw and our hips. Uh, so like our hips here and our jaw have quite a, a weird body connection, which I wasn't aware of. And in this connection, if we have tense hips or we have a tense jaw, often they're connected. So if our jaw's tense, then our hips might be tense. Or if our hips are tense, then our jaw might be tense. So a lot of the time, sometimes we get great tension here. Uh, and I think now a lot of us are spending more time indoors and we're not going out as much, we're not walking as much, we're sat kind of in these kind of positions with our hips like this and it, sometimes it can create some tension in the hips. And this also then, like I mentioned, can create some tension in the jaw. So it's good to have this awareness in our body if we're sat down a lot with our legs bent, that we might start to feel some different tensions in our face. So we can just get some little bit of massaging into the, into the jaw area here to create some relaxation, have a play, also fire, you can look a little Yeah, really nice, just relax in that area. Great, really nice. And the, also the same, if you kind of have, kind of get a little bit of massaging in the hip joints, be careful, but just to kind of really just take care of that part, of that connection in the body is quite uh, important because the jaw is connected all around this area and it can just release so much tension. And the last thing that I wanted to bring into us was uh, basically kind of not hitting the body, that's kind of the wrong word, but basically we can kind of tap our body in this kind of way. We can tap our body really gently like this and just pat it sometimes, really gently and make sure we don't pat like we kind of like this kind of hand, we want to have a little bit curved so we have a bit of softness and really almost this really floppy hand. We just want to hit the body a little bit, under the arms, around there, on the chest, you can do it also on the legs, that's the thing. just hitting the body is really quite a nice way to um, basically stimulate our blood circulation. So as we hit the body very gently, what happens is the blood um, starts to rush to that area ever so slightly and basically encourages our body to um, to basically uh, flow, uh, better flowing with the blood uh, and encourages kind of blood circulation a little bit. So it's quite nice to have these little movements that we can just do. I would probably avoid doing the face, but maybe it's quite good to do it on our hands. If you have, I'm going to take my sock off, uh, to my shoe off. If you have your sock and you bag your foot a little bit, it's also quite nice for some foot circulation, um, grabbing the calves, grabbing anything, any area you want. Really just patting the body down very gently. It's also quite good to so start creating rhythms. So yeah, really nice. And I think these exercises are really great to kind of relax us and um, kind of the opposite to the coordination ones where we're trying to engage the brain. Sometimes these bits can just, just allow the body just to kind of um, descend into relaxation. So. That's the Friday session for this week. It's all about using movement to stimulate our minds and also using movement to relax our bodies as well. So yeah, we have the body coordinations, all those exercises, and we also have some of these um, uh, kind of like relaxation tips, like this patting of the face very gently, small massaging, really good, can be really nice. Uh, and also the patting really good thing for us to be doing there so yeah um these are things that you can do again with this video or write a little note of them put them in your phone notes put them wherever you can in a little post-it note i've got my post-it note here with them on um yeah and just you know sometimes when you just feel oh i feel a bit tired i'm going to do a little body coordination engage my body engage my mind i'm feeling a bit overwhelmed you know what i'm just going to sit there for like five minutes i'm just going to do this and um, yeah, they're really useful tools um, and kind of in some ways what dancers use 
um, as kind of what we would call extended practice. So sometimes what we would have is our dance training and our dancing, and then we'd have some kind of things that we would have extended outside of that way that we would use to help us um, relax our bodies or whatever we need to do. So yeah, really great things that dancers are also using um, quite often. So hope you have a good weekend and I'll see you next Wednesday. Yes, next Wednesday. See you later. Bye-bye.